And we are in the Highlands. I love this little area. Looks like Ireland or Greenland or something. Oh, this is so frustrating. You see, this is what I don't get about you bad guys. You know the hero's gonna win, but you just don't die quickly. Man, uh, example. This one guy in New Haven, right? City's burning. People are dying left and right. Yada, yada, yada. This jackal rushes me with his spoon. <laughs> a freaking spoon, and I'm dying laughing, right? So I scoop out his stupid little eyeballs with it, and his kids are all, oh, yeah! And I, I can't even, oh, he, he can't see where he's going, he's bumping into stuff, and I, anyway, I don't know, maybe you had to be there. The moral is, you're a total bitch. Try to keep quiet so we could hear what Jack said, but game had to bring in those flying things because God forbid we get quiet to hear what the characters are saying. Yeah! <laughs> My character likes crashing around. In Borderlands 1, you could flip your car over and it would land upside down and you would have to manually flip the car back over. In this game, it looks like your car just automatically stays on its wheels. Overlook. You found Overlook, huh? Used to be a nice little town until Hyperion took over. Now everybody there has got their skull shivers thanks to Jack's mining operations. Poor bastards are too sick to leave their homes. You'll want to set up the beacon over there. Once the moon base processes our request, you should have a fast travel station. A note to all Hyperion custodial bots. Please shut down the grinder before attempting to clean its gears. Look at that, we almost had two people talking over each other. But Angel finished what she had to say in time. So I'm going to place the beacon down. But as soon as I do, I'm going to have to defend it. So I'm going to try to load up on what I can before, before that happens. Let's get some health. Oh, it's down. Right, I need to power that up. Okay. Sure, we'll leave that gun to me. Yeah. 